Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to go left. Don't be so rude. Hi everyone, it's me again, Terranian. Welcome back to a Withba, or more commonly known as Mount Snowdon, in Eriri, or the Snowdonia National Park in North Wales. This is the fourth time on this mountain, on my channel at least. So you'd think I'm getting a bit tired of this mountain, but no, it's got so, so much to offer. Besides, this is playlist number one, the new playlist, the Three Peaks Challenge, the winter version. So I'm training for that. So with that in mind, and the fact that I've been saying it for so long on my channel, especially every time I come here, I'm here for a very special reason today. Or at least I'm taking a very special, special route. One that I've not taken before. One that I've been wanting to do for so long. Yeah. I'm here for Kribgok, the most challenging, precarious and exciting route up this mountain. As if that wasn't enough, I'm going to do some more. I'm doing the Snowden Horseshoe today, an 11 kilometer horseshoe route up Kribgok to the summit of Snowden via Garnet Dogain and back down with a little scramble on the way back over the top of with which incidentally I clocked last time I was here doing the Watkins path thinking that looks fun so today we're gonna get to find out so it's quite a familiar start on this route it's the pig track we all know and love you have to pay homage to this path for some 30 minutes or so. And then as you reach the ridge, go on the other side of the mountain there, as it levels out after the initial climb, that is where you make a right turn. And that's where the fun begins. Just like Trevan, I've been waiting so long to do this. I just wish I could convey how excited and nervous I am at the same time. Let's just get it done. Here we are, about to start the ridge walk. It's when you get up here and you see it right in front of you, after seeing it in all the videos and photos and things, and you're gonna be seeing it as a video now and it's not gonna get quite, or give quite the same impact, but nonetheless, it's seeing Kribgok laid out 
in front of me like that. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's actually more than I anticipated and I can't wait to get stuck in. Okay, I'm going to demystify and put to shame all the YouTube videos that use a fisheye lens or a, you know, ultra wide. This is my most flat possible image on my uh, Osmo 4, which I'm using at the moment. And this is, I guess, how or as close to what it would really look and is how it looks to me right now uh, as it really is. And I'll show you what it looks like on ultra wide. There you go. I'm not sure if that's coming across particularly well, uh, but that's probably what most people use when they're uh, skirting along here, furniture surfing like big toddlers. So I'll go back to my normal wide, not ultra wide, uh, which you're used to. Uh, so you know I'm not actually cheating. And so I've shown you what it's actually like. Wow. Okay, it's been a little bit wet recently. It's raining, it's been raining recently. So, uh, it's quite slippy and uh, a little bit muddy and it's been muddy on the approach up here, so gotta be careful uh, a little bit. But at this point, it's okay. There's a real knife edge bit just here. I'm gonna go around, but generally it's it's pretty narrow but it, I feel fairly stable the wind's not too bad so I'm pretty comfortable it's, it's pretty awesome but you still got to take your time be very careful because I'm right on the edge for the most part it's a hell of a drop wow all right fun 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 Sure what they say about this route. The left hand side is a little bit more favourable than the right but I still don't fancy making a mistake down that side. I'm gonna to have to have a rant about DJI in a minute or a bit later because the microphone's been playing up in the past. It seems to be working all right today. But the drone, this is the perfect day and place for a good, oh, for getting the drone up. And uh, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, the app's been playing up. So, unfortunately, no epic shots today. I guess this is the first pinnacle. I've been up here 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, you got the choice to climb over the top or you could circumnavigate around. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have a little look, see what's what. I think I'll end up circumnavigating around just in the uh, spirit of keeping on moving. But you do have a choice, it does look durable. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go left. Don't be so rude. Let's go around here, oh shit. Oh wow, this is fun. This is fun. Okay, I was expecting a bit more of a path, but then you know, this is a scramble route after all. 
So up we go. Oh. Easy peasy. Glad I slipped there and not in not another place. <sighs> it is very slippy up here because of that recent rain. I think it's more more precarious going down with that slippiness than up, than up I think. Oh, that's cool. There's the more familiar pig track miners track in fact I think this is possibly just there. Am I right? Is that where they diverge? Could be. So I just showed you the first pinnacle but this is kind of a continuation of it and then I've got to go down here uh, over the other side of this and there's no obvious paths which is quite exciting actually. I think the way I'm going to go is up and around that way see if there's a route uh, here this bit and uh, yeah, see if I can find a way around that way. Uh, we'll go down here first, across, and around that way, I think, to the left. Uh, could climb up here, actually. It looks doable. It does actually look doable. Uh, but I'm not sure on the other side if there's a, a safe and manageable way to get back down. So I went down there just to get up into that path. There's a little bit of a non-climby bit I'm not happy with. I'm actually going to give this a go because I believe, again, if I go up this way, just like I did down there and I can't find a route, I can come back and maybe find another way. But at least this way I know it looks like I can get up and I'll be able to get back down if I can't find a way over. So hopefully this is the way. We'll go and see. Okay, it's not brilliant looking, but I think I can get down off of this. Yeah, that looks like the end of at least the main part of Kribgoch. How amazing. I thought it'd be longer actually, to be honest. I know I can see Garnet the Gain just up there has a little bit more uh, scrambling to do. Uh, but less of the ridgy stuff. I think there's a little bit of knife edgy stuff up there, but I think I think as far as a really precarious edge knife edge stuff That was it. That was great though. I mean it was shorter than I thought it was just as exciting In fact, it was more scary than I thought it would be I saw the videos and, and knew that it wasn't as steep as some of the angles showed but it was still fucking steep. I mean, it dropped off both sides in points and with it being knife edgy and a little bit slippery as well. Oop, <laughs> just went all the way across that mountain or that ridge and I'm losing my balance. So wear appropriate shoes. Oh, speaking of which, I'm not wearing my normal walking boots today. You might have noticed my bright blue, they're not trainers, my bright blue, uh, Salomon, uh, I can't remember what they're called. I bought them eight, actually a while ago because I was into running and wanted to do a bit more adventure running and never wore them. And then I absolutely scuffed up my lovely Scarpa hill boots uh, doing Trivan and Bristly. And so um, 
after a bit of TRC, I'm not really prepared to do that to them again, poor things. They're very comfortable, lovely to walk in, but I just don't want to scramble in them. So I've got these, I've actually got a nice rubberized uh, toe sort of um, cap thing, which is brilliant. Nice hard sole or a nice uh, rigid sole and nice, nice grip. Despite the slipping, I mean, I don't think you can avoid that when the conditions are the way they are. But these are gonna be my climbing, scrambling shoes from now on, really, really comfortable. Like they've got like memory foam insoles and everything, they're so, so good. Not the color I would have chosen, but they were on discount. So at least they're not the bright, bright blue ones, the baby blue ones. But so what, I'd wear pink ones if they were cheap enough, who cares? It's not about what you look like. It's about comfort, safety and these are very comfortable and very safe. I'm a little disappointed though, it was so short, to be honest, uh, in a way. I, I was kind of just getting into it by the time uh, I got off that pinnacle. Uh, but there you go, I've seen it, and now I've got to, got to do it in the snow. <sighs> Am I gonna do it in the snow? Is it, is it doable in the snow? I've seen people do it. I have got the kit and I've done it once already. I wanted to at least do it once before it got snowy. Can I do it in the snow? I'm going to be doing the peak, of course. So I'm going to see what this is like as well. Imagine that in the snow and the ice, but with the crampons and ice axe and everything else. Still be doable. I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to take my, my sweet, sweet time. Be very, very, very careful. But I think it's doable. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. I can't wait. Just got to go down here. No problem along the path now, relax a bit, and then a bit more, a bit more climbing, a bit more excitement, and then up to the cloudy, no surprises, summit of Hawidva, Mount Snowden, and off to Clueth for another scramble. So very good, very good fun. The rocks are a bit slower and a bit more deliberate. This is just constant, just builds up your tiredness. So it's so on and off, a bit like interval training. And it's now when you really work up a sweat and you get hungry. And you start getting your cravings. When I was doing the Watkin path, it was all about the banana milkshake at the end. And then since my last walk, I had a banana milkshake at the end. So now, as it's getting tough, and I'm getting out of breath and tired, I'm thinking of the end, eventually, and having a banana milkshake. I know, some of you are thinking, near, 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 banana. Don't know why banana, but it is, it's banana, that's what it is. So when I'm finished, I'm gonna have a banana milkshake. Crazy things that go through your mind. The songs, the songs and what you want. Biscuits, banana milkshakes, hot dogs, burgers, all this weird crap that you crave when you're walking. I know it's a thing, and mine happens to be, at the moment, banana milkshake. So I'm gonna have to get one on the way home. That's definitely the pig track. You can actually see the miners, if I'm pointing to that correctly, uh, just beyond it. And the converging point is just there, I think. Uh, and that's my route, just up here. So at the end of our little break, if you can call it that, back to some scrambling. Let's crack on. fun. I enjoyed that very, very much. First official summit of the day. Going there again. Sorry if I murdered that. I am trying. From here, just down and up to the summit, which is starting to clear a little bit. I have never seen this view. Just past the point where the Pig of the Miners track meet. Uh, well, all of them. 
Oh wow, look at that. Made it up to the summit. As you can see, the weather's lovely. It's time for coffee. Oh, I've had my coffee. And some lunch. I'm a happy boy now. So I think it's time to get stuck into that. Clearweth. Head my way across the Watkin path and up that. Looks steep, looks fun. Can't wait. Oh, here I am. The base of Fluid. Last sort of uh, ascent of the day before going off the other side and back to join the miners' track back to Penny Pass of the day. So bear in mind when I do the three peaks in the winter in a few months, I'll only be going up to the summit here and then back down. But this, because the horseshoe is here, and I've always wanted to do it, well I wanted it for a long time, I'm just going to carry on and uh, complete this route. There's quite a few paths zigzagging up this mountain already, or well, this peak. Um, but I've actually chosen to go fairly straight. It's all scrambleable, it's very much like Trivan here. You know, you can pick whatever route you want to make it as fun, as exciting, uh, easy or as hard as you want. It's great, really good. West Peak, 898 meters. Fighter jets, very cool around here. Just got the east, still a bit of a slog, uh, 893 uh, meters. I'm not sure how much elevation I've got when I go back down. That's all right. If that's like this, it's gonna be heaps of fun. This is a really good mountain, really good peak. Definitely recommend it. It's good fun, like I said, very much like Trifan. That's about it. I just got that one then, the East Peak. I'll check you there and I'll sign off, I guess. See you in a sec. Well, everyone, that's the East Summit. All that's left for me to do now is go down, 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 down. Find the miners path, just uh, after the causeway over there. And back to Penny Pass to get the Sherpa bus back to Nant Paris. What an epic route. I would definitely do that again. Well, I will, half of it at least, in the winter. But for now, I'm just going to head back to the car and relax. And get my banana milkshake. Yeah, yuck. Don't care. Needs me some banana milkshake. So, I'm going to leave you with these thoughts. The Three Peaks Challenge. I did it. It was uncomfortable. It hurt. I didn't want to be there for some of it. I'm not going to lie. But on reflection, it was one hell of an epic adventure. And it can't have been that bad. I'm back here again. And I'm going to do it again. We'll be in a slightly different format. So thanks for joining me on this journey. This route finding journey. On this amazing route. That I've been wanting to do for so, so long. That's all from me for now. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll leave you with a very familiar gate at the Penny Pass car park. Always signifies some form of relief, despite how amazing any walk would have been. It means the end, and rest, and banana milkshakes. Laters! <laughs>